What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope all of you are doing well out there. Happy Wednesday to you guys. Guys, it's going to be a short video. I just wanted to show you guys this vehicle that I've been passing. Uh, the dealership is located directly across the street from the storage facility, so I can't help but take a little look at it each time I go to the storage facility. Um, it's a 2007 Chevrolet Explorer um, limited edition all-wheel drive SC. Uh, it has 206,000 miles on it. Um, it's a conversion van and I wanted you guys to take a look at it. Um, what else can I tell you about it? They're asking $20,100, uh, $900. So basically $21,000. Now, I do have some concerns about it, but I think that I'm going to at least go in there and try to get a closer look at it and try to test drive it too as possible, if possible, um, because I think it would be a reasonable upgrade from what I have now. And here are my concerns about it. This dealership doesn't have a shop in it. so. I believe that they sell their vehicles as is. They bring them in from wherever and again, sell them as is. So if I was to even remotely think seriously about purchasing this vehicle, I would have to take it to a shop first and get a full diagnostic on it to see whether or not, you know, everything is okay with it. Uh, <laughs> that's the first thing. The second thing is the 206,000 miles on it. Now, I don't know if that's a bad thing for a conversion van because I always thought that when people bought uh, conversion vans that it was for family traveling. So I guess my point is, I guess I'm curious to know if they were road miles. You know, it's a big difference than city miles and road miles. If they were like road tripping miles, then I don't think 2,006,000 miles is bad. I mean, considering that I don't ride a lot or drive a lot in the city that I live in, the town that I live in. But anywho, that's another concern right there. So, um, but... <laughs> Let's talk about the possible financial transaction of acquiring this conversion van. My car, I know is worth, I know is worth at least 12 grand. It's a 2017, five years old. It only has 65,000 miles on it. It's in decent shape. I would go as far as to say it's in uh, very good shape. And I would not accept anything less than, let's just say, 10 grand but i think that this car is worth at least you said somewhere in between 10 and twelve thousand dollars. now kelly blue book last time i looked about a month and a half ago they said that this car is worth about uh on a low end fourteen thousand, and on a high end about fifteen five. so you never know but um I would be able to trade this car in because at $21,000, I would be able to trade this car in and then pay the difference and have no car payment still, which is the goal if I buy any type of vehicle, unless it's like already built out, already this, already that, is to have, continue to have no car payment. So... I don't know. It's something to look uh, think about, but I'm going to show you guys what the vehicle the vehicle looks like. Oh my, thing is falling down off of here. I'm going to show you guys what the uh vehicle look at look like and you guys can take a look at it. It also has a sunroof on it which to me is a would be a great addition for my lifestyle. And what else uh can I tell you about it? Um the inside of it looks nice based on the pictures. They have a lot of pictures on it, which I like when someone's selling a vehicle, they have a lot of photos on it because, you know, it's like they're not trying to hide anything. They have pictures of the um, underneath the hood. Uh, they have pictures of the bed that's down in the back because, you know, conversion vans, conversion vans have beds in them. Um, I am curious to know, does it still work 
power by power. That would be a, a great addition, you know, or great to know. So it is worth looking into, I think, at best. Um, again, uh, I would not even consider buying this vehicle if uh, without having it looked at outside of their uh, place. But here's a look at it, guys. Let me know what you think, you know, your thoughts on everything from the price to the miles and everything, you know. All right, take a look. All right, guys, this is the conversion van right here. Once again, it's a 2007 Chevrolet Explorer, um, all-wheel drive, uh, limited SE edition. Looks like it has a backup camera on it. Based on the pictures, the bed, the bed does come down. Whether it works or not, I don't know yet. It looks like it has pretty good uh, body to it. They're asking twenty thousand nine hundred. And that's the look of it right there. All right, guys, that was the conversion van. What do you think about it? I think the body of it is in pretty good shape. I didn't see any like rust or, or major uh, issues with the body of it, at least. Um, of course, I wasn't able to see the inside of it yet. Um, I would do that if I um, am interested in it and take a look at it and inside and do all those things, start it up, make sure the air work, the heat work and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.